It's the World Health Assembly, which is the decision-making body of the World Health Organization. They meet every year around about this time in Geneva. It's the first time they've met in person for two years because of COVID. And this is a change amendment to the international health regulations. And it's not just about pandemics. It doesn't just give the World Health, Health Organization control over a pandemic. It allows them to call out a potential or actual health emergency. That could be all sorts of things. Potentially, of course, if the people that are very concerned about global warming and possible health effects, that could get the World Health Organization involved in those sorts of conversations. Now, what yeah. I would say is, has anybody heard Boris Johnson mention this? Or Sajid Javid, the health secretary? Has anyone seen it discussed in parliament? How many people in the public have heard about this? Now, the one good thing is that even if this does get passed between the 22nd and the 28th of this month, that's not the end of the story. It doesn't come in until 2024. And in fact, even countries that supposedly support the amendment, those countries have got six months to withdraw their agreement and stop that going forward. Whether it has to be unanimous, I've found that very difficult to get to the bottom of. The, the World Health Organization is very opaque in the way that it works. You, you raise... You raise many, you raise many salient points there, uh, Tony. Uh, not least the fact that it hasn't been discussed. You know, it's not just me, is it? You feel as if, it, it, while a, while a population is on its knees with exhaustion, you know, having been through the last couple of years, things are major things, not not slight, major things are being slipped past a, a, a population that's exhausted. No, no, no. Why would would that, say, why is that? Why, why is consultation and consideration about something as potentially affecting as this not everywhere? Why isn't this on the sides of buses? Well, I think they're in a hurry to do this for a number of reasons because, of course, a lot of these amendments that have gone in have come from the Biden administration. And if the next president of the United States is not of the same political persuasion, this may be very difficult to put through. So I think that's why they're in such a hurry. Uh, 